What up, it's Shankster94, and welcome back to my full play of Resident Evil Outbreak. Resident Evil. So this time, we are going to finally begin a new scenario. Outbreak. Not that scenario. <laughs> so yes, we are finally going to start below freezing point. We escaped the zombies and found our way into a frozen underground facility. What truths lie beyond the cries of pain in the distance? Who knows, but we're about to find out. So I'm looking at my game plan right now, and I have the first playthrough of Below Freezing Point slated for Mark here. So I know we played him already, and yeah, there are four other characters that we haven't used yet, but we will be getting to them eventually throughout these playthroughs, I assure you. All right, so since we already have some experience with Mark, this might not be too bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be bad at all because I'm going to be playing this in easy mode, this being the first playthrough. Now once again, being the first playthrough of a new scenario, I am going to pay the most attention to detail once again, so this will be a pretty lengthy one, but you will see a lot and learn a lot. And being another new scenario, we're also going to get to see some new enemies. The outbreak scenario is rather boring in terms of enemies. The only enemies are zombies and crows. That's really it. Of course, once I get to harder difficulties, you'll see different. But anyway, let's move on and begin the first playthrough of Below Freezing Point in easy mode with Mark. Okay, just shoot a man dead. No mercy. There's no turning back now. For sure. But it'll all be worth it. Will it? We'll see about that. Alright, this begins rather quickly, if I remember. And here we are. So even though I'm not playing as a new character, we see three characters here that I haven't used yet. So almost the whole rest of the lot. So this just happens quickly. What's wrong with this thing? Stupid, stupid piece of junk. Oh, it's losing electric pressure. Oh, screw it. I'll, I'll just find another way out of here. So you're going to soon realize where we're actually at. And judging from this cutscene, Yoko seems to be the central character for this scenario. So she will be played in one of my normal playthroughs. Excuse me. Find anything you... So we got Jim and George here as our partners this playthrough. That's fine, although... I'm going to be brutally honest, Jim is my least favorite character, and he's one of the most annoying characters in the series. In my personal opinion. Alright, I'm going to get this iron pipe, because we all know Mark is a strong melee user. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, some association. After your little incident, I assumed that you went and hid under a rock like the little child that you are. What is that capsule? Wait, wait! Are you after this too? Hmm, you are, aren't you? Oh, you are so... Stop it. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Don't play the innocent little girl with me. You can't fool me. You could never fool me. But, maybe we can work something out. Give me your ID card. Yoko, you little lifesaver. I'm so glad we had this chance to catch up. Have a nice life. What's left of it? And she's brutal. So yeah, Yoko has association with this place. And you may have noticed from Monica's uniform or whatnot, she's like an umbrella researcher. So check it out, we are in the OG umbrella laboratory from Resident Evil 2. Hey. Hi. Come on. 
So George, you're gonna follow me around? Okie dokie, he's a doctor. Hey, Alright, he doesn't mind coming on, so here we go. Okay, I think normally there's a gun on the ground here, but I wouldn't be surprised if Jim took it. I just had a thought. Who in the same hell was that? Here's what I'm thinking. I picked up Dear God. Let's just try excuse me. <laughs> Alright, nothing more to say no. here. So yep, yeah, because I'm Mark, I already have a gun, so it's alright. Eh, no, I'll go back to melee. So, if any of you are hoping that I try to go for the no weapon bonus again, in your dreams. I only did that for the outbreak scenario for a reason. I may try to use less firearms, like, through the easier playthroughs. But yeah, with this layout, can't you tell it's the Umbrella Lab? That's the elevator that Leon or Claire uses in the final act. I'm talking about the original, I'd, well, in the remake too, I believe. Yep. Right. But instead, we're gonna hop into this air vent. Alright, we're in the depths of the lab. What happened? What now? Jim, you asshole. See, this is the handgun SG. It's just another handgun in this game, based off of a handgun that appeared earlier in the franchise. Can't really think of it right now. Yeah, now Jim is reluctant to follow Mark around. Alright, what's this up here? Great chemical bottle. Why not? Control terminal for the storage room. Will I operate it? Sure. Oh, I need the passcode. I don't have it. <laughs> I used to have it memorized, but I actually have forgotten it. It's been a long time since I played this game normally. You don't need two fucking guns, man. Alright, there's a blue herb here. Shit. Shit. Now, unlike the outbreak scenario, pretty much no other scenario do I have SP item locations memorized. So, you're gonna see very little of that for the rest of the playthrough of this game until I get back to the outbreak scenario. Just so you guys know. Another thing you guys should know is I am recording this at like 8.30 in the morning, so that's why I'm quiet and might sound a little tired. Hey! Hey there. Excuse me. All right, so I guess I need to head down this way. Oh no, Yoko! Oh shit. <laughs> well, he didn't hesitate. Alright, they're both incapacitated. Alright, yeah, I think I'm done with that. You can have a gym if you want. Give me that herb. Oh, that's the map. 
Oh, so something I probably didn't even notice in the outbreak scenario, um, on the bottom you have legend, and yeah, it actually shows you where, like, if items are in that room, so that can be actually handy, if you're in a jiffy, maybe. What's this? Yellow chemical bottle. I don't have room for all these chemical bottles, so I need to use them to hey. demonstrate what they do. file. Alright, just a one-page file. Shit. Here's another memo. My life is shit. <laughs> See, this is why I hate Jim. He's always like, my life is shit. Nine seven four one. There you go. That's the code. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go back. My life is son of a Hey! What now? Fine! Hey there! Did you guys notice the soundtrack while I was in that hallway? Hi! They're using like the same tune from the original Resident Evil 2 soundtrack. Alright. Nine, seven, four, one. There you go. What's wrong? Oh, my what virus is getting up. Maybe I should start speeding up. VP 017. Well, this is a key item, actually, so I'm gonna have to take it. I do want to keep this herb for a specific reason, so... I'm gonna get rid of this handgun, because we'll see it in action through the other characters. But I still want to demonstrate this explosive Let's bottle. Try to stay calm. Hey! Here. You. <laughs> yeah, he'll never, he'll probably never comply with Mark, no matter how many good deeds I do with him, or vice versa. What happened? Uh -huh. Apparently, there's a strategic way to get along with your AI partners. Hey! You say thank you a lot, probably, after each time they give you something, maybe if you save them from injury, yeah, there's many factors. It's like it's like its own zapping system in a way. So that just goes to show you how complicated this game really is. Alright, now that I have that, it doesn't open from this side. Okay, Jim, I am going to actually give you this key item. Because you keep following me around, so I trust you with it. Alright, and I'm actually going to take this first aid spray. Because I think there's something that I need it for. The partners could also be used as extra inventory. Oh, there's another iron pipe right there. So even though we're in the same laboratory from Resident Evil 2, these areas are actually new, weren't previously seen. Oh shit, there's a zombie in there. Alright, we're gonna see this finally. Hey! Oh, that killed him in one go. UMB number three. Alright, I'm gonna t do this for a sec. Oh. You should listen to me! You should give that to me. Here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna combine these two. 
and check it out. We got V Jolt. Throwback to Resident Evil 1. Alright, now I'm gonna request that herb back, Jim. Alright, so let's equip our handgun. Someone give me a first aid spray. Yes, sure. Here's a token of my gratitude. A shotgun. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, you keep that stuff, Jim. Take care. So I'm pretty sure that's an event. Alright, check it out. This plant still exists. This is that room with the ladder. It's blocked by a gigantic plant. Hmm, what's a known herbicide in the Resident Evil series we know about? Vigil. Oh, yeah. Alright, now that's clear. Jim, you're literally sticking your face up my ass. Hey. George! Let's just try to stay what do you got? Not much. Give me those handgun boards. You don't even have a handgun. This is it. Let's just try to stay calm. Oh, there's more right there. You should give that. This is it. Alright, I'm separating so I can give them to Jim. Yeah, I'm cool. Alright, George, I'll give you... No, not you, Jim. What's wrong? Well... Here's something. Uh, all right. Yes. Fine. I picked up. Here's something peculiar. Oh, typewriter. No, I don't need that. It's already withered. I could use this to extend the ladder, but I need some sort of tool. All righty. Well, we are reunited with our team, so let's move on. is abundant with them. What oh, we have a gun. Here you go, George. Damn it. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I got it right. Alright, frozen wrench. Well, this is a key item, so yes, I'll take it. Uh oh. I'm not gonna waste time, like, finishing him. Yes. Listen to me. Alright, so George is willing to tag along with me, so that's cool. A maintenance panel, it's bolted shut. So this is why I need the wrench. The various terminals. I don't know the passcode. Now what's interesting is I believe you can break these open like with enough damage given to them. 
I may try to do that in one playthrough of this scenario, maybe? We'll see. There's another panel over here, too. They're both bolted shut. I just had a thought. What happened? What now? George, show me what you got. Uh -huh. Huh? I need your help. Gray chemical bottle. Oh, there must have been a knife down there. Because that's what George has. Okay. Hey! Let's just drop this in the Some items here. This is like a safe haven. Yeah. Listen to me. No. It's locked with a simple lock. Ah, so this is a locker for Alyssa's playthrough when I get to it. Antivirus L. Okay, so the thing this is a very long lasting one. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. Yay. Alright. A dirty sink, the water inside is still quite warm. Ooh, I can thaw the wrench. No. Let's just try to stay calm. Now we got a wrench. Now we can unbolt Listen those to things. Me. Listen to me. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> this space is too narrow for you. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's a disadvantage with Mark. He can't fit into lockers. Fat shaming. What now? What? What's up? Excuse me. Damn you. What now? What now? What happened? What's up? Uh -huh. Alright, so let's unlock this panel. Nothing. No way. Let's just try to stay calm. There's a hole to insert something. <laughs> ah, here we go. Valve handle. What is that? So I don't know if I need the wrench now. I don't think I do. So yeah, I'm gonna drop it. Hello there. I just had a thought. Ooh, some more handgun ammo. I really should give some to George. Here you go, man. No? Fine. You do not need that herb. You should give that. This is it. Hey! Listen to me! God. And I made this special herb. <laughs> the two green, one blue. Alright, that's good. Coolio. So yeah, I can go back down now to hey. the bottom one. But... Do I have a reason to go down there right now? I don't think I do. So I'm not going to. There you go, Jim finished him off. What's that? Yeah, go ahead. You need it. Let's just try to stay calm. Listen to 
Listen to me. All right, we're going to get further up. Yeah, look, Jim has two iron pipes. Mm, it's the turntable. Come on, come on, come on! It won't move! Why? Oh, give me a break. I don't believe this. Something else I have to fix to get out of here. Uh oh, something got her. And yeah, the turntable won't move because it seems to be frozen over. Alright, it's going up. I just had a thought. Here's something. Here. Sorry. I found some. Yeah. Fuck, dog. Come on. Sorry. Oh shit. I've lost his trust, it seems. So I could actually go straight up even more if I wanted to, but being the first playthrough, I'm going to explore every room as I come across them. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do that. If a zombie seems to be coming through a door, you could do this to stall them, but I think that tactic would only be useful in online mode. Yeah, I don't have any more space, so... What? There's a file. Oh. Monthly passcode. Oh, these are codes. These are important. Alright, so for the com for that one computer room, I think... C582. I'll just have to refer to this file. All right, there's a crawl space here. What happened? What now? What's up? More blocked passageways. There's another shotgun here. Jim. I'll let him take it. Oh, there is a memo down here. No, dude. Okay, George, you can definitely have it. You really don't want your handgun ammo, man? Fine. Just don't give up. I picked up. Let's just try to let's just try to hey. I don't know what to do. Alright. Look at this guy. This room is sealed off. This place looks familiar. Holy shit. Yep, this is that passageway to that vaccine area on Claire's, in Claire's playthrough. Oop, what the hell? Let's just avoid these things. Alright, so I need a card for that. Alright, so there's no other way. So this was just some for some info, but can't really do anything with this area. Come on, listen to me! No. What happened? No way. So I guess it would be wise to just go straight to the before level in subsequent playthroughs to save time. 
Uh, there's an iron pipe right there. And before level it is. It's half frozen. You know what that looks like? That's a hunter. Oh man. What I forgot what that hunter is. I think it's the Mew. Ooh, there's an SP item here. What now? There we go. Another iron pipe. I'm reloading my handgun. Shaft. Okay, very familiar area here. Here you guys go. What happened? How's it going? Whoa. Oh shit, on a stick. Well, good thing I got a blue herb on me. Shit. reader for that one. What now? <laughs> First aid spray. I really don't think I need that freaking valve handle anymore. Lever is frozen. He has to What's melt wrong? the ice somehow. Oh, there's a file here. Oh man. Ooh, a broken shotgun. That would only be useful in David's case, because he's the only one who could repair it. Speaking of the shotgun, I should use that soon, maybe. Especially if those hunters come to life. Which, they will. <laughs> that doesn't need to be a secret. Okay, I'm still poisoned, but I'm still in the green. on the ground, but I'll probably find out eventually. Alright, does this elevator still not work? Of course not. So isn't it interesting seeing yet another rendition of this laboratory? Especially after I just recently blind played Resident Evil 2 Remake. Alright, more handgun rounds. Sure, I'll take them. Because my partners are nowhere to be found. What, now? Oh, what was that? Oh, lab card key. Alright, I'm ditching the valve handle. I really don't think I need it. And the turntable key. Well, we know it's not going to work right now, so I'm actually not going to pick that up right away. Oh, he has to move the turntable first. Fine. How's it going? How's it going? 
I don't know, Mark. How is it going for you? Let's check this side. Don't need to operate it now. And another blue herb. You know what? There we go. So I'm in caution now, but that's okay. That's not too bad. Can't even physically see it. What now? Mm. Yeah, so that's still a thing. What now? What's up? How's it going? Thanks for getting the door. Dear God, let's just try to stay calm. All right, something I actually want to go and do first is, uh, wait a minute, no. Alright, now that I got a key card, I can do this. There's more handgun ammo. Oh, there's a red herb. It's too bad I can't mix it with this. Alright, now that I registered my fingerprint, I could open that room, but I think I'm going to do something else first. So I'm going to go all the way back down to B6 and access that one computer terminal. Here we are. Ooh, my virus is getting up there. It'd be worse if I didn't have that antivirus long. Alright, so let me check that file again. So these are the codes to open these rooms. Oh, uh, so the B fifth floor computer room that I unlocked with a key card could have been unlocked earlier if I put this code in. I see. And B four F East Area Passage is pro it was probably that shutter. So I guess I have a choice between key card or this computer terminal. <laughs> These codes are pointless now. I need to memorize them though. So just for fun, let's 
put them in, so one was A194. The door has already been unlocked, so it tells you. And the other one was C582, let me just check. Yep, see, I knew it. Alright, well, in subsequent playthroughs I know how to go a little faster now, so that's cool. So the specific reason I had this herb on hand is because there was an eventful cutscene that takes place if you already had registered your fingerprint before making it to the B4 level. The giant moth would have swept in and kidnapped you, basically. But that can only occur if you register your fingerprint before making it to that room, I think. So, unfortunately you won't get to see it with Mark, but you will probably see it in subsequent playthroughs. Wait a minute, I want to see what that was. Shotgun rounds, okay. So, yeah, I think... I'm gonna get rid of this. If I need it, I'll come back for it. Ooh, that was close. Right. Culture room. What now? Oh, there's another yellow bottle here. I still haven't demonstrated that. It's not much better than the explosive, really. There's another gray one, too, so they'll give you plenty of weaponry. I hope my partners are okay. Alright, what's this? Blowtorch. Okay, that's important. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Alright, so that's a key item. I'm just making sure there's no files or anything. blowtorch, I could finally unfreeze the panel in that one room, and ooh, what's that? A notebook is on the ground. Ooh, I almost missed a file. So I'm glad I got that. No. Oh. Hope. Man, I cleaned up. Man, Jim, you've been using that. Here, dude, have some ammo. Wow, he walked back. Are you serious? Okay, I just realized I'm not done in here. <laughs> and I'm glad that thing didn't poison me while it was just resting above me like that. Now it's supposed to go over here with the blowtorch. So now it's going to start warming back up. I can actually see some things in this room now. What now? What What's up? Uh oh. Hunter. Eh, 
and it's dead. What happened? Damn it! Fine. What should I do? Oh, it's actually functional now. The ice is melting. I don't think there's anything else. I'm really curious about that word it, he was mentioning, hope. I found something. How about what? But anyway, well, how about what? now we can get out of here. Well, that zombie's dead. Don't need the blowtorch anymore. Alright, so it gives us three minutes to do whatever. So you could potentially miss the turntable if you're not careful. But I don't think I have anything else to go for. So I'm just checking, but making sure the clock still goes when I'm on this screen, which it does. Alright, so I want to look at this file. It was the Reese Custodian's diary. So yeah, she was carrying the open capsule. It just looked like shattered glass, really. But anyway, yeah, I was, I'm really curious about this file. What does it mean? Hope. So... Mentions an elevator. But this one doesn't work. Don't miss the turntable, Jim. They got all the health items. I don't have any. Ooh, look at my virus. It's at 53%. Alright, warning. Yep, we're on the turntable. We're good. Oh, she's dead now. So, if you remember in Resident Evil 2, canonically, Chief Irons gets injected with an embryo like that, and it bursts from his chest. So it must have been William Birkin, who somehow was there and injected her? Or was it something else? You don't have a whole lot of time to get through all the ad libs. All right, so we're up here. Uh oh. All 
right off the bat. It's mutating. Ugh. It's just bubbling up. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so welcome to the boss battle of Below Freezing Point. Well, that was easy. It's not too bad. And here's the ending. I knew this city was weird, but what I've seen takes it to a whole new level. Wall was better than this. Whew. Alright, to be continued. So yeah, once again, being the longest playthrough, I did get dinged from the time I took. But look how many events that I got in one playthrough. So I'm pretty happy about that. All three survivors, one special item, but again, I don't care that much about them in this full play. Almost 1,200 points. Cool. Ah, dang it, I didn't even check the event checklist. Now we have the hive scenario. I can check the event checklist here, below freezing point. All right, so thought flows and wrench, wrench to open panel, valve handle, yeah. Unlocked computer room with card key, shutter with card key. So it was necessary to use the card key because those are actually events. So maybe it's an event if I unlock them with the computer instead. So yeah, a good majority of them, so the rest of my playthroughs will be somewhat easy when it comes to events, probably. But I will still try to trigger more if I can. Alright, I'll go back to the main menu now. So that was Below Freezing Point in Easy Mode with Mark. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, different scenario, whole new experience. I liked it, so look forward to the next playthrough, of course. And the character I'll be using in that playthrough will be Kevin, who happens to be my favorite character of this game. So, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, using Kevin in easy mode is quite OP, so I'm gonna have a very easy time. And just like Outbreak, the second playthrough of Below Freezing Point will probably be my speedy run of the playthroughs. So until then, this is Shankster94, aka the Gamer Shankster. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shankster underscore 94. Check out my Facebook page and support me on Patreon. Shout out to Wyatt, also known as the one and only W, for being my one and only patron. Alright, peace out. See you next time.